Today we're going to look at the center of mass and how it relates to conservation of momentum. So let's just define it. The center of mass is essentially the point in a system at which all of our mass can be modeled. For example, if my system is a simple ball, let's say it's uniform in mass all the way around, our center of mass would be the exact center of the ball. Let's imagine we had a stick, like a ruler, and again, let's say the mass is uniform. In this case, again, the center mass would be right in the center. Well, let's imagine we have a shape that's kind of weird. Maybe it looks something like this. In this case, it wouldn't be right in the center because more of the mass is towards the right side. So maybe it's somewhere here, offset of center, towards the right, but not in the middle of this circle. Well, the same is true as if we have um, multiple masses. So, for example, if we have two balls of equal mass, the center of mass of this system would not be in either ball. It would be actually the very center of the two balls. So this would be one ball, this would be the other, and the center of its mass would be over here. Or let's say we had one ball like this and one larger like that. Well, in this case, the center mass wouldn't be the center. It would be tilted. You know, maybe it's even a part of this mass over here. So where this is going to become important in this unit is with conservation of momentum. So remember, um, conservation of momentum, we say in the absence of an external force, P initial equals P final. Well, notice what happens here. So if we take our mass, and we take our mass of our entire system here, we could just call this our mass total. Well, if our mass total of our entire system times the V initial is equal to the mass of our whole system after our collision or after our explosion times V final, well, the mass of the system, notice, is going to be the same on both sides. So what you're left with is V initial equal to V final. So kind of the conclusion we can draw from this is that the velocity of a center of mass of a system is constant. And again, this is in the absence of a net external force the velocity of the center of mass is constant. So let me give you a couple examples of this. Let's say, for example, we have one ball M, one ball M. Let's say this ball is moving with velocity V, and this one we'll just say is V equal to zero. So the center of mass, since the masses are the same, is going to be the exact center of this system. So as this velocity is moving, as this ball is moving with a velocity this way, since this one's v and this one's zero, the mass combined is going to produce a velocity. The center of mass will be moving with a velocity of one half of v. So this one v would be moving quickly. This would be moving exactly half the mass, and this one over here would be zero. So that would be kind of the before. We'd have the center of mass moving with one half v. Let's say that these two stick together, just for simplicity. So this is moving mm. Notice the center of mass would be the exact center right here. So if this is mv and this is 0, then the combination, this whole system would be moving with 1 half of v. Remember, the masses are constant, and this one's at 0. They move with exactly half of the initial velocity. So notice the whole system, and definitely the center of mass, would be moving with 1 half V. So our initial was 1 half V, our final was 1 half V. In this case, it's constant. Let me give you another example. Let's say we have an M here and an M here. Let's say they're both moving with V, V and V. So in this case, our center of mass would be moving this, would be right in the center again. This one would be moving with a positive mv. This one would be moving with a negative mv. So the center of mass would actually have a velocity of 0. It would just be standing still. 
And as this one moves closer, this one also moves closer at the same rate, and so this center mass would be zero the whole time. Now what happens when they collide? Well, let's imagine it's completely inelastic so that they stick. Well, if they stick, then basically, since that's mv and that's negative mv, then this would be v equal to zero. They'd be stopped, right? They'd essentially cancel each other out if that was completely inelastic. Well, what would happen if, let's say, they bounce off each other in a completely elastic collision? So this one would reverse with v this way. This one would reverse with v this way. But since they have the same masses, they would again have the center mass would be zero. All right, now this works with no matter what the masses are. The key idea is that our velocity of the center mass is going to be constant regardless.